Hello, my friends, welcome back to another episode of the Banner Saga 3 with me, Notorious BLT. Let us go right to battle, please. We were likely to kill many mans. What was that? It's probably gonna be a whole fuckload of these assholes. So we got Bloody Flail, Axe Storm, Pokies. Okay, so lots of tanks and a little bit of damage. There are likely going to be more dudes showing up, though. Um, we should take care of the guys down the center first, and probably just have Moger go up to these guys and be like, yo, fuck off. I just, I love Mogru. He's so tanky. Okay, so you did your thing. Um... We're basically just summoning another dude so that he can take hits for us. That's pretty much it. And also be part of the front line. Right, because you have Stonewall. And you're going to stand next to Moker and increase his armor. Uh, wait a minute, you have... Trample. Who's next? Spearman is next. What's the range on Trample? Okay, it's not enough. Um, I love these skirmishing abilities. They're so wonderful. Please don't be a... Okay, he's going to be a giant douche. That's fine. Sorry, giant scum. Ah, I've been trying to get out of the habit of saying the... Out of, out of saying the D word. Hmm. What do? What do indeed? Let's break your armor. That way, when... Uh... Uh... Oh shit, I forget her name. Deirdre you comes up. She can she can do some serious horribleness to you. There's no need to poison dudes right now if we can just poke them. Let's do all but one point of damage to you. Or we could crit and just kill you. That works too, I suppose. I forgot how insanely fast you are. Who's next? One of these clowns is next. So why don't you come over here? Step there. Oh, delicious. No, no, not battering ram. Bring the pain as uh, breaks down your armor and punishes enemies for retaliating. Uh, let's just beat the shit out of this guy. You hit me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh wait, that's right. You got you got booted, so you uh, you got screwed. Okay, why don't you come over here and uh, mess with this guy? Ah! 
Oh lord, he coming. Why did you hit Petrus? It's kind of weird. Um, who's next? You are. Lucky to give this man the boot. If I mark you, you're going to attack him, you're going to attack him, and so are you, which will likely kill him. Poisoned. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Don't you also cause some kind of bleed or poison or some bullshit? Yeah. Who's all big and strong? You're big and strong. We don't like that. We want you to be small and weak. You should be infected with the horribleness now. Well, not infected. You should just be taking damage. Like, all the time. That was a hell of a crit. Zero. Oh, because your armor's so high. God, that is just heinous. Um, flail the Christ out of this dude. Wait, why did he... Oh, because he had the stupid... Oh, he did the tank thing. Frickin' hell. Oh, he's not dead. Fuck. Full eyes dead at your feet. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yep. This is why I really miss having a Valka. I really loved having armor repair. A lull in the fighting, but it looks far from over. If anything, it's just begun, and that's what worries you most. There's no need for this, you shout. It falls on deaf ears as more and more men draw weapons. The wind picks up, tearing at banners that whip above your heads. A growing gale throws men from their feet and bludgeons your sense of balance. A storm funnel, uh, a storm funnel, appro funnel approaches, crawling above the gates. Riding it is Zephyr, her platinum hair curiously untouched by the maelstrom. She lands amidst the fighters like a de like a leaf delicately falling from a tree, somehow terrifying in its grace. Stop this lunacy! She howls. Please join us, please. What is this? Put your weapons down. The crowd. Uh, uh, the rowdy crowds diminish immediately in the Valka's presence. These traitors were trying to open the gates and let the dredge on us. 
Will you listen? I'm trying to save lives, not end them. Enough. Warp creatures reside within the coming darkness, twisted and ferocious. This is the true threat now. I would have come sooner, but I was searching for a solution to protect... Or a solution to protect Erbarang, and I may have found one. I can save us if you can manage to be civil for a few moments. Where are the king's menders? I need them all. Doing whatever they damn well please since Meinolf died. He's dead? Then this is the last surviving Valka. Uh, th then is the last surviving Valka. I am taking control here. I expect the rest of you to put aside your differences while I gather the menders. What do you mean about the... Uh, or what about the dredge outside the gates? Can't you do something? Uh, can't you do something, Valka? Blow them all off a cliff? Save her sighs in frustration as she turns to leave. The truth is we may be safer with the dredge inside than out. You don't need to befriend the dredge, but you do need to make space for them, for now. We cannot afford to give the warped more weapons against us in the coming days. Zephyr departs, ushered by a rising gust of air that lifts her toward her uh, toward the keep. She leaps on long bound, or in long bounds, like a springing gazelle out of sight within moments. Everyone's lost their damn minds. I don't care what anyone says, those slag will murder us, first chance they get. You trust them so much? Prove it. Walk out there yourself. Throw it on your weapons, or throw it on your weapon, and prove they're harmless. Go on, the crowd agrees, screaming angry cons. Show us. Open the fucking gates. The man looks genuinely surprised, but says nothing. Slowly, the large doors are pulled open for you. Oddly whispers quickly before you step beyond the gates. The dredged child. I'll come with you, carrying the child. Maybe they uh, they would see it as a gesture of peace. Um, no, she comes with us. I'd be glad to have you by my side, Odd. Oddleaf nods, the dread child is quickly found, and she stands beside you, carrying the bundle in her arms at the gates come, uh, arms as the gates come to a stop. Oh, fuck. You take a deep breath. Oh, fuck. Someone pushes the Skoger banner into your hand, and it weighs heavily. Dredge stands shoulder to shoulder beyond the gates. The warbling stops as you approach, and their many yellow eyes turn in your direction like a field of sunflowers. You force your legs to move. The dredge part around you. It feels suffocating, even though they do nothing but watch. Now, completely surrounded, you turn around, where equally captivated clansmen stare breathlessly from inside the walls. I am actually shaking a little. <laughs> the dredge nearby look with curiosity at the dredge child in Oddleaf's arms. The air is still as if itself afraid to breathe. You raise the banner. The dredge follow as you and Oddleaf walk back into Erborang. They follow through the gates. They follow into the courtyard. And then a man shouts. You can see his face clearly, but you don't recognize him. Just some guy. You're not sure exactly what he's shouting, but it sounds like you'll kill us all. He hurls a spear towards you. Other Others draw weapons. They raise eyebrows. Everyone reacts at once. I'm sorry, says Oddly softly. Before you could react, she has stepped in front of the spear meant for you. There are tears in her eyes as she does, and she closes them for the last time, still cradling the dredge child. Oh, fuck. Desperately, you wrap Oddleaf's body in your banner, dragging frantically through the squall of battling clansmen as if uh, they weren't there. A sudden blow to the back of the head steals your sight. Dizzy, you're rising, being pulled by your cloak. It's Petrus. His guards are scattered and overrun. The mob bucks like a wild beast. Nearby, Avaral brings his shield crashing down on someone's head. Horseborn scream in the distance. The smell of smoke fills the air. Blades lunge at you from different directions, and you uh, emerge bleeding around the corner of an alley. We need Zephyr, you cry, pulling at the body still within the uh, within the banner. Though you know it's too late, the violence is spilling out further into the city. Riders smash down doors and corpses lay openly in the streets. Some of them are very young. There's no cure for this, Petrus grieves. Arborang is broken. Arborang oh, is broken. Now the strength of your banner will determine how long you can hold out, while Ivor and the Valka push on to their destination. Your choice is up to this point. The number of clansmen, fighters, Val and supplies remaining buy you days of survival. 
When your days run out, catastrophe will follow. Use this time wisely. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Is it, is this something, okay, did this occur because of the decisions I've made? Or is this something that happened be, uh, just regardless? Oh, I love how the rest thing went away. He finds Zephyr in the keep, where she's preparing the menders. She turns as you approach. Captain Petrus, I told everyone to stop fighting. My friend is hurt badly. You have to help her. Do something, please. Reveal the lifeless body of Oddleaf wrapped in your banner. Zephyr shakes her head. I'm sorry. Even the Valka should not meddle with the dead. How did it happen? You left us. I tried to tell you if you had just stayed. Many more are about to die to the darkness. Listen carefully. I devised the shield of light that holds back the darkness, but its reach is limited. With the menders joining their efforts, we may be able to encircle all of Erberang. It will mean positioning them evenly across the walls, and if mad men are running wild in the streets, killing indiscriminately, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. I'll, t uh, I'll have Oddleaf taken somewhere safe, just until we can pay our respects properly. You nod, numb. How long can you, uh, how long can you keep this spell of light going, Volka? Assuming the plan works at all, perhaps if we rest in shifts? A number of days, it depends on our food supplies. And stopping the warp from slaughtering our menders. They told me you fought off a sunder, no small thing, but that will be nothing compared to what is coming. What do the Warped even want with Erborang? As far as I can tell, only mindless death and destruction. It is why I wanted the dredge inside the walls. And the other Valka, Juno and Ivand? They can stop all of this? We cross paths. They continue into the darkness. If they're going where I think they're going, and if they actually make it, there is hope. But none of it matters unless we get these menders safely on the walls. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everything is a fucking disaster right now. You lead a group of Zephyr's menders toward the gates where the fighting is worst. The darkness is already drawing close, throwing soot into the air. You push into the fray to clear space for the menders to do their work. Men fight dredge. Men fight men. The fighting curls around you like wildfire until you are engulfed in it, despite your best efforts. One bare-chested, shrieking madman charges at you, but is crushed under the dirt by, the, by heavy stone bludgeon of a nearby colossus. The stone guard stares at you, past you. Bloodied men encircle you like vultures, screeching, uh, uh, trill, screeching trill insults. Traitors, raven star uh, starvers. The stone guard nods some kind of understanding. It seems to recognize you too. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, fuck. Take you out. Oddleaf is dead. <sighs> Fuck. What do you do? Kindle. Slams the ground, sending all around him, reeling back and damaging their armor severely. As with most dredge abilities, the uh, damage is indiscriminate. 
or it this damage is indiscriminately and must be used with care. Drum fire. The character sends a shockwave through the earth, damaging uh, the armor of non dredge caught in its path and churning up molten ash that burns any unlucky enough to step in it. Wow, that's crazy. Um, this ability must be used carefully as dredge, including warped, have their armor mended by the effect. Okay, well, this passive is not scary at all because of other things. You have six frickin' points. Max, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of armor. Holy fuck. Okay, definitely max out exploit because that's what you're going to be using a lot of. Um, and then we might as well get uh, Arter uh, Artery Strike. I mean, it, it, you should really take this. It just makes sense. Um, let's take Nid. God damn it. And the Wasp is gone. Fuck. Sure. Just take it. I feel so defeated right now. Like, just so defeated. Fuck. liked Oddleaf. I hate that she died. And you morons are to blame. Like, for real. Do we actually have menders? Okay. Archer's gotta go first. You guys are gonna be the ones to take them out. Right. I forgot. It, it, it kills your strength a bit. This guy's first. What do you do? You have run through. Okay. I just want to make a big thing of ash. That way, if this guy tries to cross it, he's going to get damaged. Go ahead. Attack the guy that we just summoned. Or you can throw garbage at us. That works. I guess. What's the range on Trample again? One, two, three, four.
Yeah, break the Christ out of his armor. God, that's a lot of breakage. Hmm. Let's poison the shit out of this guy. I know. Happy to resist all that damage. Um, Alright, so you have Bird of Prey. So, Rook needs armor. Well, fuck. Oh my lord. So now, what, what, what does Kindle? Shield Sam causes knockback to all adjacent units doing armor break damage. Hey! Smack this guy real hard. You're still poisoned, which is wonderful for us. Um, yeah, spend on movement. That's wonderful. I forget. The mule kick... Yeah. Hmm. You need to go. Alright, this dude's toast on his next turn, which is great for us. You're you're poisoned. Poison her, please. Or just kill her. I forgot that that was going to happen. I'll admit. Who's next? This guy's next. But he's going to die. Just shoot this man. I find that we have empty turns. I'm not really that concerned. Well, okay. They shouldn't be empty. We should at least do something with it.
Well, hey, you killed a guy that doesn't really matter, so good for you. Prepared to die, little man? Alright. Get those menders up on the walls, Petra shouts to his guards, and keep everyone else away. The stone guard follows you like a lost puppy, scaring any strag uh, straggling fighters away from the walls. Petrus's guards escort rattled me uh, menders to the top, where they join with other menders, closing the gap. Zephyr vaults from, uh, from the ground on a gust of air, soaring to meet them. The darkness touches the crackling, wind, uh, the crackling walls, oozing over the edges. Wicked shapes titter and lurk on the other, on the other side, just beyond sight. Menders, shouts Zephyr, now! Mighty grief that was ours and theirs. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. This feels real weird. Caravan fell silently in absolute darkness until you lost all sense of time and place. Well, why, why am I doing this? The episode's basically over. We'll, we'll catch up with this next time. Hope you all did enjoy this episode, and if you did enjoy what to do, that is going to be for me, Notorious BLT. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.